My name is Jeff Dahlberg and I'm the director for the Kearney Agricultural Research and Extension Center located here in Parlier, California. I was an Ag Extension agent in, in the Peace Corps and so that really kind of uh, uh, generated some real excitement about doing agricultural work and, and really understanding the complexity of agriculture. When I got there, uh, I just fell in love with Africa. You, fell, you, you fall in love with the people. The people are just, just fabulous. Niger is always in the top five poorest countries in the world, but the people will just give you everything, and so it was just a real joy to be there. Niger is um, a climate very similar here to the valley, except there's no surface water and very little wells. They depend solely on rainfall. Sorghum is just an incredible crop, and, and one of the things that I saw in Niger was the fact that this crop could grow on little water. In the United States, we use this primarily for animal feed. So this will get harvested, cracked, fed to beef. Most Americans might know of it as birdseed. This goes to a poultry industry. It also goes to the pork industry. Very little of it goes into human food consumption uh, yet. Uh, that's one of the reasons I just picked this out. This is a white food grade sorghum. So this sorghum, when you grind it up and you make a flour out of it, makes a very, very nice light colored flour that's gluten free. So we have been pushing this into the gluten free market and you're starting to see more and more sorghum going into the gluten free market uh, because of the health benefits for those who have gluten intolerance. Given the drought uh, of, of the past three, going on four years now, I think sorghum offers a unique opportunity for some of our valley growers who are looking for a, a, a drought tolerant crop that they can grow in their farming system. Uh, it's especially true for those looking at our forage industry. Currently right now we grow a lot of corn silage that takes a lot of water. Uh, the, our sorghum forages that we've been evaluating over the past three, four years here uh, at Kearney and Westside are using half that amount of water to grow equivalent tonnage. I think it really does have some huge potential for uh, using less water.